Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. The temperature sensor, or thermistor, is a critical part of many refrigerators. It's found in any model that has a display or control board. A faulty sensor can prevent the system from cooling properly. Additionally, if the sensor fails completely, then the compressor will not run. In this episode, first we'll learn how it all works. Then we'll do some tests with a multimeter. Finally, I'll show you how to install a new temperature sensor. All refrigerators work in the same basic way. When cooling is needed, the cold control sends power to the cooling circuit. The compressor pushes the refrigerant through the system. In the freezer, heat is extracted by the evaporator coils and is released through the condenser coils behind the refrigerator. This process continues until the set temperature is reached. The temperature sensor is a heat sensitive resistor, also known as a thermistor. As the temperature changes, so does the resistance. The control board monitors the resistance to determine the temperature. We can test the resistance to verify if the sensor is defective. If the resistance is outside of the normal range, then the control board will misread the temperature. This can cause the fridge to be too warm or too cold. Now, if the sensor fails completely, then the compressor will not receive power and the refrigerator will not start. Some models have a sensor in the fridge and another sensor in the freezer. The temperature in each compartment can be adjusted independently. The control board will change how long the compressor runs, and the damper motor will control how much cold air flows from the freezer into the fridge. In many cases, you might also get a temperature sensor error code. In Whirlpool models, this will likely be an 18F or a C code. Frigidaire models might show an OP or SH. General electric models will display a CC or an FF code. In any case, it's best to test the sensor with a multimeter. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver and a multimeter. In some models, you might need wire strippers and silicone. Keep in mind there is some variation between models and not all refrigerators will have the same parts. You can enter your model number on the Amory Supply website to see a parts breakdown. This can be helpful to show you which parts are in your refrigerator and where they are located. First, Slide the refrigerator out from the wall. When there is enough room, unplug the cord to disconnect the power. In this case, you can work on the refrigerator in place with it still against the wall. The temperature sensor might be located on the side of the fridge behind a small cover. Simply unscrew the cover. Now disconnect the wires. In some models, the sensor might be located in the control module. Release the retaining tabs or remove any mounting screws. Now lower the control module. In some cases, you might have to cut the wires. Just make sure to leave enough length so that you can strip the wires and add wire nuts. To test the sensor, it can be helpful to use a resistance chart, which is sometimes printed on the tech sheet. The tech sheet is normally behind the kick plate, 
It also might be mounted at the back or will be hidden under one of the top hinge covers. Now set the multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. Next, touch the probes to each terminal. At room temperature, we're getting a resistance of 2600 ohms, which is close to the rated value. For accuracy, it's best to take another measurement to compare. Test in a glass of ice water with a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. As the thermistor cools over several minutes, the resistance should now be close to the second value. If either test differs more than 10% from the rated value, or if there is no resistance and no continuity, then the sensor is faulty and should be replaced. Install the new sensor into the mount and snap it into place. Next, reconnect the wires. Align the cover. Now, tighten the mounting screw. If you've cut the wires, then you'll have to strip a quarter of an inch off the end. Align the wires and attach the wire nuts. Next, apply silicone to the connection. Now, let it air dry. Next, align the tabs and push it into place. If needed, tighten any screws. Plug in the cord to reconnect the power. Now slide it back into place. Make sure to leave a couple of inches of space between the refrigerator and the wall. This will allow for proper airflow. Now test the refrigerator to see if it's working properly. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.